Hello everyone, this is Satyam here and welcome back in another new videos. Guys, today in this video I will continue my pending I will continue the pending part of article 19 which I had explained in my previous video and so let's continue the pending part of that article 19. So before that I I would like to give a quick recap of my previous video. So in, in my previous video I had explained that article 19 which um, in which i i had i had told uh, i had explained that ki article 19 of the constitution of india is deal with is guarantee six freedom to every citizen of india so first freedom of article 19 is freedom of speech and expression then freedom to form association and unions freedom to assemble peacefully without arms and ammunition then freedom to move freely throughout the territory of India, freedom to reside and settle in any part of India and freedom to practice any profession or to carry out any trade, occupation etc. So in, in this six freedom, we, I, in this six freedom, I had explained um, freedom of speech and expression entire thing but in that um, I haven't explained the exception exception means uh, there are some there are certain matter on which your freedom of speech and on which you can't exercise your freedom of speech and expression which means the government can government can restrict you to make comment on that matter or or to or to make you quiet so at that time you can't say ki it's my freedom of speech and expression so what what are those matter on which government can uh, access um, on which gov on which citizen cannot have freedom of speech and expression so the first matter is anything which is related to sovereignty and integrity of india now uh, sovereignty means uh, in sud hindi we can say man samman <coughs> sovereignty integrity means Man Samman of India, like uh, if you say anything which is uh, which harms the which harms the sovereignty integrity of India, so uh, uh, so then government can uh, restrict you to to make such comment and to make such articles and it's uh, right and you can't exercise at their um, freedom of speech and expression. And the second one is. Uh, security of a state if you make any comment or if you write anything which may breach the security of our india like if you publish any document if you publish any uh, if you um, if you write any general about security of india then which may breach our um, which may breach our security of our country so uh, you can't do that because it's a threat on uh, our country uh, so you can't do that and the third one is ki anything related to anything which may affect the friendly relationship with foreign country which means you you cannot make comment on any country which may uh, which may like uh, which may obstacle for the friendly relation with country now you will think ki, then uh, why indians are making options or like uh, options and uh, abusing pakistan because pakistan is also a foreign nation so why people why people do that and why government why government is not restrict him so i would like to ex explain ki what i had said i had said ki friendly relation with foreign country and we have no any more friendly relation with pakistan so pakistan is, so india and pakistan have no friendly relation that's why people can people people can abuse pakistan and uh, people make options options comment on pakistan that's the reason and the fourth fourth one is ki you can't make any speech or anything which incitement to offense means uh, uh, by your speech or anything which may which may give incitements means uksana like if uh, any comment made by you which uh, which like uh, bharkana means like uh, many many times you had here ki 
uh, OVC. Yeah, there were there were a um, uh, there were a Muslim leader of OVC, uh, which sometimes make uh, with who who used to give a speech sometimes like uh, which is a very incitement to offense. And, and it uh, it may cause like. Uh, communal disharmony between Hindu and Muslim. So sometimes government used to restrict him but sometimes allow because freedom of speech and expression is very broader. That's the reason and uh, you can't make any speech which may uh, which may which may incitement to public to do any to commit any crime or anything else or communal disharmony etc and you you cannot make any comment which may defame someone um, now you will think what is defamation many people however many people knows about that defamation and many people have heard the word defamation but they don't know what is actually meaning of defamation so defamation means uh, in general it means attack on reputation of someone attack on reputation means ki you you make any comment on someone which is not which is not fact if you make fact comment then it's not defamation like uh, someone is blaming me thief so if i actually stolen her thing or stuff then uh, then i can't file then it's not defamation because i am a thief that's that's why they make comment like that but if I haven't uh, stolen their uh, any stuff, then if he tell me thief thief in any public place or not any public in private also, then I have a right to sue him for defamation. Means uh, it's uh, it's uh, like it's harm my reputation. It's attack on my reputation. So it's defamation is also a exception of freedom of speech and expression. Now. Now think, if uh, if these are not exception in freedom of speech and expression, then what people does? Then then what people does? People does uh, abuse someone and uh, like uh, make comment whatever they think on anyone. So and and when people when people uh, goes for justice in front of court, then they simply said ki i have a right to uh, i have a right to speak so that's why I, I i can speak anything that's the reason there are certain exception on which people can see you and you can't and you can't give excuses ki we have you can't get protection freedom of speech and expression and the and one more exception is there ki public order like uh, if a government has passed any order Ki on certain matter you don't have to make any comment then uh, which is in public interest yeah then you can't make any comment on that and if you make then you breach the freedom of speech and expression and you can't get protection under the freedom of speech and expression so that's uh, now i can say it's it's an exhaustive explanation on article 19 and i think I, I should make uh, another videos for another another freedom of another freedoms like five freedoms are still there for explanation so I will make uh, another videos separate videos for each for each freedom otherwise the video will get uh, video will get too much extended and that's it I think and meet you guys tomorrow in the next video with some new topic and if you if you was still here and if you if you think it's informative then don't then don't forget to like the videos and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet then make sure to subscribe my channel and meet you guys tomorrow in the next video thanks for watching thank you so much